Welcome back. In this video, we're going to start working on the day progression here, because what we want is these crops to grow over multiple days. And so when it's nighttime, when we go up here and we charge, we want there to be magic that happens at night that makes the crops grow. How the heck do we do that? Well, let's find out. The first thing we need to do is figure out how to actually make the day go forward. So uh, let's make a new tab and we'll just call this a uh, day cycle, I guess. And let's just say function I days, sure. And function U days. And I don't think we'll draw the days specifically. We'll probably do that in our HUD kind of thing later. So let's make sure we call I days and U days like that. For initialized days, let's make a variable called day. And we're going to say uh, day one to start out with. And then uh, for you days, so every frame, we're going to update uh, a timer, basically a clock. OK, so let's just say uh, let's also initialize a clock of some kind. Clock equals 24. Sure. And then we'll just say uh, clock minus equals 0.1. And then in our draw, for now, I'm just going to put this in our draw function. We'll do like a HUD thing later, I think. But what we want is here in our little HUD for our hours and our day to be right here. OK, so this is 1115 and 1315. So uh, let's print clock at 11, it'd be 11 times 8, which would be 88 comma 15 times 8. I don't want to do the math. Let's see if that shows up where it's supposed to. There we go. There's our clock happening down there. Let's floor that clock. Save run. OK, now that clock is going and let's offset that a little bit. OK, what's 15 times 8? 120. OK, 120. So let's actually bring that down a little bit, like 121. Save run. And 122. OK, so there's our clock happening right there. It's going down pretty quick. So let's actually make that a little slower for now. Cool. Save run. And there our clock is going down. Great. OK, let's do the same thing for our day. Let's just print our day here. Print day. And that's going to be, what was that, 13? 88 plus 16 would be 104, maybe. I don't know how to math. OK, save run. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's do 106. Give it a little bit of room. All right, there's our days. We'll probably mess with those in the layout later. But we have the hours ticking down of the day. And the idea is that when those hours go down, then we're going to lose the game if we didn't charge. All right. But what we want to do is go up and hit this charge. And that's going to bring us to the next day. So. Let's go back to our sprites here. And here for this charge, let's add a new flag. Let's do flag four. This is going to be our charge flag. Our other flags are one through three. So anything that's on this charge pad is going to be flag four. So when we're over flag four, let's just do another else if f get sp four. So if we're on flag four, then we're going to progress the day. So day plus equals one. We're also going to reset the hours. So clock equals 24. And we'll eventually reset the battery and everything. But we'll get to that in a second. So save run. And so now if I go up here and hit this charge, that's going to make our days go by. Great. Now it's not very apparent that the days are going by. All we have is this little text down there. So let's have some kind of visual cue that this is happening. And so uh, let's make like a transition here. So let's just say transition. This is going to be a custom function. We'll put this in a new tab. Transition. OK, function trans. So uh, we could do a bunch of things here, but I think what we're going to do, uh, we're going to set a initial tea time transition time as uh, 128, let's say. And then we're going to use this to basically be a timer for our transition. It's going to do 128 different steps. And what I'm thinking is that it's basically going to be a rectangle that kind of wipes the screen. And so we can kind of animate the height of the rectangle to go from the top to the bottom of the screen using this tea time. So let's just say when we call that transition, that, uh, that tea time equals zero. And then we're going to have a function where we draw the transition. And so we're going to do this with a rectangle fill. And we're going to start it at 0, 0. And we're going to end it at 128 and whatever the t time is. OK, so I don't know if this is going to be exactly what we want. Sometimes I get kind of confused when I'm making this. But um, function, let's put in our d trans here. This 
make sure we initialize our transition. And we gotta specify a color too. So let's just do purple, sure. This is color two, so color two, like this. So this should draw a rectangle from the upper left-hand corner to the right side, and then depending on what the tea time is, it's going to make it bigger or smaller. So as we draw the transition, we're going to uh, actually have this tea time go up. So plus equals one. And then we're gonna say if tea time is less than 128, then we do the rectangle fill. And if it's more than 128, then we basically just don't draw anything. Save run. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, look at that. And then it should disappear. Yes, great. Okay, man, I'm surprised we got that first try. So that's great. It kind of wipes the screen. Uh, let's have this go a little faster. So maybe plus 10. So save run. Let's go over here to charge. There we go. Great. Maybe not quite so fast, maybe like six, but I think I want it to start full screen and then kind of wipe up. So how do we do that? Let's actually just say 128 minus T time. Then that should go backwards. There we go. Like that. Yes. Good. So that's going to animate the days and give us a little bit of a visual cue that the next day is happening. All right. Now you can make this whatever you want. You can make it a lot fancier. But we're just going to go with that. All right. And let's actually make this color. Let's make it this darker color. Color one. Okay. Save run. Now we go over here. Cool. Now the problem is that because I specified a color here, it's using that color as the default for our prints. So uh, let's pick a color. Let's just do yellow. Color 10. For our prints. So let's say 10, comma 10. That should print those in yellow now. There we go. So now we go over here, hit X, and it transitions to the next day. Great. Okay, so we're transitioning to a new day, but nothing actually happens. The crops don't grow. We're going to get into that next time. That's all for today. By the way, if you're new to Pico 8, we have a free Pico 8 Essentials Workshop available right here. And if you want to watch all the videos in this series, there's a playlist right here. See you next time.